Hey, uh, point of this video is to show my Bowden, Bowden cable on the cold end, not on the hot end. I was at a rep rap meetup this weekend and a bunch of people didn't think it would work. They didn't think it should work. So this is to show more people what it's all about. Right down here, I have that white tube coming out of the top is HDPE tubing. It's four bucks for, I don't know, 20 feet way more than you'll need at Home Depot and uh, the actual filament is just threaded through there so it comes up through here I have a hole drilled in this handle this is an extension cord reel from Home Depot that's ten bucks maybe and uh, the cable just goes and butts up against the bottom of it and the filament is threaded all the way through so the benefit of this whole setup is that it allows the extruder when it pulls on the filament it lets it use all of that work in order to rotate the carriage, or sorry, rotate the reel, as opposed to trying to lift the carriage up off of the z-axis or lift the whole machine up off of the ground. Um, that's one problem with a lot of different spool setups that I've seen is that they they kind of <laughs> make the machine want to tear itself apart if it gets a jam. If this gets a jam, it'll eventually just strip the filament but it won't lift it up and cause any disastrous things or it won't make you have weird gaps in your, uh, in your print. So, if you're thinking about it, uh, this is a really easy way to go and it's pretty cheap. Fifteen bucks maybe and, and you're done. <laughs> you don't have to print a thing. Alright, bye.